Hey guys, Badge273 here. So, about a week or so ago, I made a video and introduced you guys to the new Cloud Defensive Duty model. It's the uh, latest iteration of their MCH line. And as I was talking about it and discussing some of the things I really liked about it, I used my original MCH as sort of being the basis of comparison. Um, I purchased this about a year ago. <clears throat> It's going to be the High Candela version. And one of the things that you guys had asked for was to do some beam shots comparing uh, both these models. Now, to be fair, these models don't really necessarily have the same sort of specs, and there's a good reason for that. Um, this one's obviously meant to have a whole lot of throw to really push that light out there, um, but not a lot of spill. This one really is designed to be more of a duty light, something that you'd expect to see um, maybe a police officer use, somebody in the military. Um, it's meant to have a little bit more balance between throw and spill, um, so that way it can kind of fill several different functions that um, somebody who needs a duty light might use it for. With that being said, because you guys asked for it, we're gonna go ahead and actually do a couple of beam shots tonight. Um, I think what I might do here, maybe in the next couple of weeks, is instead of comparing these two, I may actually pull out some of the other lights that I have that are actually duty lights. Um, so we might actually compare this to maybe some of the stream lights that I have um, and stuff like that. Things that are actually being used on duty, because I think that might be a bit of a more of a fair comparison. But with that being said, uh, let's get out there and uh, compare these two and see what they look like. Okay, so we're out in my backyard. All right, so first one up, we'll go ahead and test the High Candela model. So fence is gonna be about 25 to 30 feet away. And you can see it does have some spill. Um, with that being said, obviously it has a pretty good hot spot. It's really more meant for being able to throw that light. All right, and compared to the duty. So this one we have a little bit of a hot spot, but really a really generous spill. It's actually doing a really effective job at lighting up almost that whole portion of the backyard. This one. Okay, so for this one, we're back in my office. I think this one might do just a little bit of a better job of sort of emphasizing kind of some of the drawbacks of using a high candela in more of an enclosed space. So, high candela. So as you can see, it's really doing a great job with that hot spot. And it's lighting up that whole corner of the room even with the spill. But I know it's a bit hard for you guys to see, but if we start kind of panning over to the corners a little bit, you can see that light's not going much further. Okay, now for the duty. And on this one, again, we have a pretty good hot spot, but the spill is really illuminating quite a bit more of this, this room up. All right, guys. So, again, there was just a couple of quick beam shots for you. Um, nothing really extensive, nothing obviously very scientific. Um, both batteries that were in here were fresh batteries, so I tried to keep it as even across the board as I could. Um, but kind of like what I said from the beginning, I mean, these are uh, two different lights with two different specs um, that are sort of meant for fulfilling some different roles. Um, does that mean that you can't use this one as a duty light? Of course not. You can still use this duty light. Um, does it mean you can't use this one if you're trying to get some decent throw? Of course not. It still has good throw. But... Like I said from the beginning, um, it's not really a fair comparison between the two because they they sort of fill some different roles. Like I said, I think next what we'll do is I'll, uh, I'll grab some of the lights I do have that are actually designated as duty lights, and we might just compare those. Um, and it might be a good way for some of the other officers who are out there, or even prospective officers that are 
sort of at this point kind of examining what they want out of a flashlight to kind of get a look at what some of the different things that are out there and what they feel might meet their needs best. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.